All right. I'll make a quick video. 30 minutes or less. Ideally. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Time my try. Uh, edit that now. What in the F, bro? Start sign. All right, here we go. Ah. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin Weekly, January 24, futures. Uh, Bitcoin's still in a buy zone. If you look at the COT report, the commercials actually increased. Public's all in. That's no surprise. Uh, your hedge funds are still relatively out right now. They're, they're definitely selling. Of course, that's no surprise. You know, at record, you know, not record highs, but you know, at least a nine to 13 weeks straight up. Not a bad idea to take some profit off the table, I think. But just in case the ETF news doesn't pan out January 10th, most likely it's probably not. That's my guess because there's too many people are thinking the same thing. Everybody's thinking it's going up. We are in a good seasonality time frame, but I don't know. You do you, I guess. That's all I know to do. Uh, this show's selling, but according to the COT report, that's that's not accurate. Uh, Bitcoin shows their net position increased. They reduced their their shorts, and they increased the longs. If you look at the table on that, that confirms it. 12% more long, minus 8.7%, they reduced their short position. So that's, that's what it actually did. So I don't know how Larry's got his indicator set up here, but that's not correct. Whatever. Um, uh, okay. So the Dow Jones futures, the commercials are getting out. Okay. They're, they're pretty much reducing their position every single week, you know, probably have since, you know, since it's bottomed out, but. Uh, your hedge funds are starting to roll over too. They're starting to possibly reduce their position. Your public's still all in. They're thinking we're going record highs probably. Usually the public's wrong. Uh, live cattle, you want to bet with the commercials, red line and the green line. This is the only, only time that the small speculator is usually right in line with the commercials, but unless you know how to look this up. Uh... Live cattle, I've got, I'm in a contract. Um, it's stalling people out, you know, it's, it's in a, it's in a flag pattern. It's a weekly daily flag pattern. Uh, I think you could go sideways, maybe another three or four days and then possibly get a decent bounce on it. Um, gold, gold, commercial money's out, hedge fund money, public money's in small speculator. I would anticipate a drop in gold. Um, you are in a decent seasonality time frame, but uh, I would at least expect it possibly to test this 1955 zone, maybe at some point. Uh, bonds, yeah, commercial money's out. The public's starting to buy in. Hedge funds are rolling out. I'd be careful on bonds. They're probably going to go down sometime in the near future. That's one to four weeks when I say near future. Uh, on a weekly chart, that's that's what you're reading. Um, crude oil. Uh, let's see. You got commercials in the buy zone. Now they did sell off a little, uh, probably on this little small rally week last. You know, week four last. Pull back a little bit. Probably, I think it's going to rally. You're in a good seasonality time frame till March first. Um, I would anticipate oil to go up for a while. Um, uh, let's see, that's copper. Um, commercial money's out. Hedge funds are buying in. You might get a little momentum off of this, but seasonality says middle of January, January 19th. You, you do for a pretty good correction and then might rally on up till February, first of March. But your public's going in, your commercial money's coming out. That's that's vice versa the way you want to see it do. So I'll be careful on, on copper. Um, you've got wheat. 
Uh, commercials are out. Hedge funds are in. Small speculators out. I'd be careful on wheat. That's not a good setup. Uh, natural gas. Natural gas, you've got commercial money in the buy zone. They're not extremely in the buy zone yet, but they're getting close. Public's coming out. Hedge funds slowly accumulating. Looks like it's starting to bounce. Uh, looks pretty good so far. Um, Bitcoin futures weekly on this. You, you do have your buy zone. You're in a 92 on the commercials. Uh, here again, your crude oil. Your weekly count. You've got your nine perfect buy set up last week. You pull back this week. So you're, ideally, you want to see this uh, on a daily setup. Um, it needs to get above this 76.18 before you buy in. So I keep an eye on that. Uh, your dollar index, it's definitely bounced a little last week. At least two days. You got a two-day bounce on it. Um, there again, gold. Gold didn't look that great. You got a perfect sell set up two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, and it's it's sold off ever since then. So that that tells me, or that's two days ago, two days ago, three, three days ago. Um, that could at least sell off for eight, nine days. Um, let's see here. Uh, copper this is on a day chart here again. You had a nine cell nine thirteen close together. You got a pretty good sell off on that on Friday. Uh, let's see heating oil. You got, uh, coffee, live cattle Here's live cattle. Uh, so far, you're in the buy zone on live cattle on a day chart. Now, this is continuous live cattle. You're above it. You're above 167.35. Um, but if you pull the contract, LE, you got, February is where the uh, where most of the volume's at. Yeah, February is too, 167.35. So I think it's go time for cattle. Should be, according to that, uh, on a day chart. So keep an eye on cattle, live cattle. I think that's a decent trade. You're in a good seasonality time frame. Uh, the S&P 500, it's on a 13 count daily, and I believe it's on a 913 weekly. Yes, it is. That is a screaming sell signal right there on S&P 500. So I think we're, look, we're looking for a small pullback correction. Uh, I don't know exactly where. Maybe this 444 could be top of the cloud, 432 on the S&P weekly. I, I would see four to nine weeks of down action, most likely. Um, bonds. Bonds are on a weekly sell signal. I'd watch out for bonds. They could sell off pretty easy. That's uh, 30-year bonds. Uh, corn. I didn't pull any corn, but... Um, they're actually in the buy zone on continuous. Um, you're on a minus three. That's not a great setup, but soybean mill. I forgot to pull soybean mill. Uh, it's in the buy zone. Minus six. I'd give it three more weeks. Let it complete that nine count. Uh, oats, soybeans, wheat. Uh, wheat's decent. You were in the buy zone, but now you're selling off. Kind of going flat. Running out of steam. I'd be careful on it. It's, you know, you get four or five weeks out of this. That's most time you run out of steam. Oats. Oats are in the buy zone. You hit your nine, went sideways. Now you got a price bar flip. Oats look pretty decent. They're pretty strong. Uh, it's on a continuous. You're definitely in the buy zone as of Friday. You're above the wheel stop. I'd take that. Oats. I don't know which contract is the best, but uh, pull that up on the uh, COT report. Um, the way I do it, I go to markets, CME group. Uh, let's look for all. And let's do a what? Control F. Is it Control F? Oh, Oats. Oats futures. Here we go. Um, all right, we want to look for volume, open interest. 
Uh, looks like March, March 24. That's your best contract. It's got the most uh, volume over here. You got the most open interest. Um, so you type in ZO, you want a March contract <clears throat> on oats. That's daily. Make sure you get the right. Okay, yeah, you got it on the March contract. It's good. You got the money. You're in a 92. Um, weekly, probably good on this also. I'm guessing. Why is this not? That's 2027. What in the world? <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. All right, we'll pull it up on Oats if you got time. Um, I can't get this thing to reset here. Uh, let me see if I can do this right here. There we go. Yeah, Oats is good. 92.3 on the commercial index on a William COT. It's on a price bar flip weekly on the March contract. It looks good, man. I, that's, uh, that could go, that could run for a while. I, I'd probably target somewhere around this 445. Maybe, yeah, 445. You really got some momentum. Could go to 489.6. Uh, if you can get through this cloud, which is pretty thin right here, so that's not much resistance. You can bust out. You can get above this 398. Will stop. Weekly will stop. That would definitely be some strong momentum if you could get it. But um, I think that's about it. I didn't, I didn't really see a whole lot on the uh, – on the scans this week, um, I ran the Russell, I ran the Dow, I ran uh, pretty much everything on Friday. I didn't see a whole lot. We can run the NASDAQ, I guess, right quick. See if it comes up with anything. <coughs> nothing. Um, that's pretty much what I was getting on Friday. Uh, a whole lot of nothing, which with a, with a SPY on a 913, the S&P 500, I'd be careful going long on just about anything. Um, one thing I'm watching micro strategy. Um, I don't know if I have this in here or not. Uh, yeah, there it is right there. Um, uh, it's on a nine count weekly, nine plus nine, 10, 11, 11, 11 weeks up pretty much in a row. Uh, it's right up against resistance. If you draw a trend line over here off of April 9th across this right here. Right up against resistance right here. So, I mean, this could pull back at any time, retest the cloud. Maybe could pull back 394, 395. Might test this 477. If you lose the weekly will stop, 546.17, I definitely think about taking the exit. Um, that's just me. You do you, but keep an eye on it. Um, I bought in on the SH. I'm betting against the S&P. You're on a 9.12 on this. Most likely this goes up next week. You're, you're betting against the S&P, so you're shorting the S&P with this SH ticker symbol. So keep an eye on that. Um, there again, I'd really watch stocks being on a 9.13. That's probably going to sell off. You got a perfect sell perfection, sell setup perfection right here, this red triangle. That's a massive red flag sell signal, literally a red flag. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to cut this video short. Got some company coming over. So we're going to uh, enjoy the company. And, and uh, so we'll catch you all next week.